Yeah, we back. We back. Now, today, man, we're going to be doing an anthropological breakdown of our people. You know, we got to dive deep into the mentality and the psychology of our people. We are very sick people. Uh, today, uh, I noticed there was a topic that's going viral on the social media streets. Um, there's this uh, alleged quote by this venture capital billionaire by the name of Ben Horowitz, the son of David Horowitz, the right wing conservative backer and political donor. And to be honest, I don't even know if he really said this. So I got to give the disclaimer because I can't really find a source besides some gossip blogs. But regardless of that fact, it's been going viral on social media and it sparked a lot of discussion. So I'm going to dive in deep into it. Take a look up on the screen. This lady said billionaire Ben Horowitz ate down and he did not stutter when he said black women are loyal and they guard your interests. Black wives are for grownups. This lady said. A white billionaire said that black wives are for grown-ups and other races of men are agreeing and they say they prefer black women for happy and stable relationships and black men are upset about this. Now, I couldn't find any source for this quote. I couldn't find a video for this quote. If y'all can find it, y'all send it to my email, but I haven't been able to find it. Only thing I could find was this old article from Baller Alert back in 2019 and it said this. This article was brought to my attention and I decided to share it with you all. More and more everyday billionaires are dating black women. While thousandaires and athletes have chosen to date others, it seems that more and more wealthy men are dating women of color. Billionaire Ben Horowitz was said to have been quoted as saying, billionaires prefer black women. They are loyal and guard your interests. Black wives are for grownups. Now, like I said, I haven't been able to find any videos or official media publications that supported this quote, but regardless of that fact, for the past couple of days, it just happened to go viral. And we're gonna dive in deep into some of the discussions that have been going down. Now, I wanna go back to this post right here, the lady who said, the white billionaire said black wives are for grownups and black men are upset about it. Now, this got 4 million views, 44,000 likes, right? Now, keep in mind, on an unverified quote, 44,000 likes. And I noticed that she decided to specify that this man is a man who is white you know she had to add that a white a white man said it not just a, a white billionaire said it as if that added more validity to the statement as if that meant more than an asian billionaire or a black billionaire or a middle eastern billionaire she made sure to specify listen the white man said it you know what i mean so we already know we're dealing with some um some house negroes but anyways uh let's dive in deep into some of the reactions on social media this lady said ben horowitz won me over now, keep in mind, Ben Horowitz, like I said, that's the son of David Horowitz, the right wing conservative political backer who, if you sat him down for a conversation, he'd probably tell you that he probably doesn't have the highest level of respect or admiration for black people in general. Like I said before, this was the same man that brought Candace Owens to prominence. And this was the same man that cut ties and fired Candace Owens as soon as she decided to take a hardline stance against Israel. He threw her in the trash. He threw Candace Owens in the garbage can. Because in his mind, Candace Owens was only useful as long as she was pushing his agenda and promoting his message. But as soon as she got off message and decided to go out of bounds, he cut ties and fired her. So I guess that's what Ben Horowitz meant when he said, oh, black women, they're going to protect your interests. He probably talking about the Candace Owens types. But, you know, like I said, I see a lot of our women on social media jumping for joy at this shit. But, you know, it is what it is. I can only imagine how David Horowitz raised his son and the type of ideology he has if that's his father. Anyway, let's continue. This lady said... If there are any white, Asian, Chinese, Mexican billionaires who desire a beautiful black woman, I am ready. I'm done only seeking a black husband. And y'all don't even desire to marry black women anyway. Boy, I'm going to go where the love is. <laughs> this lady said they only marry white if their family is racist. The majority of old white men will tell you if they had a chance to date a black woman, they would. Oh. <sighs> Our people are sick. We're a sick group of people. We're, we're really a sick group of people, man. We're, we're really sick. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to run the footage, and I'm going to come back with my comments every. Let's go. Billionaire Ben, I love you. You did your little big one with that. You said, you said y'all not grown enough. Y'all, the black women are for the grown-ups. That was a tea, and I'm so thankful, Billionaire Ben, you had the audacity to tell these people about themselves. I love you and like billionaires prefer black women which is really funny because coincidentally I prefer billionaires to the polo lounge listen I'll be the first one to say it but a lot of y'all black women have the white man savior complex a lot of times y'all overlook what black men say about y'all that's good for white men that say mediocre shit about y'all 
That's not the real issue. Let's address why you and a lot of black men like you are really mad. You're upset because you can't handle seeing a white man do what you weren't capable of for your own women. Someone, a white gentleman, who, is, who just so happens to be a billionaire, said in a statement that black women are for grown-ups. In that statement was a compliment. And there has been so many women across this platform who were honored by that statement. And I'm sure other people who haven't said anything. Someone just gave us one of the biggest compliments that I've ever heard in my life. Go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. But let's just bask in the fact that there was someone who saw how wonderful we are, right? This week we were... There was a big up from a, a gentleman and we all felt it. We all saw it. We all appreciated it. All right, we back. Now, y'all boys wonder why I tell y'all. Me personally, I don't really deal with black women that date outside their race, mix and mingle outside their race like that. Because to me, it's a mentality thing. I just think spiritually, we're not really aligned. Me, myself, I don't even date outside my race. So I don't think it's a outlandish requirement for me to have to say that if a black woman is into the whole swirling divesting you know mingling and mixing with the europeans to me that's the, that's a disqualification that's kind of gross to me that's kind of like that's just gross you know but that's just me that's just me you might feel differently but that's just me besides the fact that we're not going to be spiritually aligned mentally aligned politically aligned i just don't think that a woman like that is going to be able to raise conscious intelligent strong-minded black children when look how weak in the knees they get for some bald head white dudes you know what i mean ben harwitz don't even got a full head of hair and his teeth are yellow and his father is a staunch right-wing conservative bigot who financed candace owens career so to me if a woman like that gets weak in the knees for a man like that this is why i stay away from any woman that ever even intermingled and had any entanglement with the europeans bro mentally you're off mentally you're off balance something is you know i gotta stay away from those women you know, but also besides the fact that it really highlights an inferiority complex that we have, you know, pretty much. I even did a video way back, way back where I listed the wealthiest black men in the world, the wealthiest black men in the world, the captains of industry, the titans of commerce. And every single one of them had a black wife. Every single one of them had black children. Right. None of them were athletes and rappers. None of them were entertainers. All of them were business giants, industrial giants, business tycoons, moguls, and captains of industry that earned their wealth and power through their intelligence, not through their singing and dancing ability, not through their songwriting ability, not through their athletic ability, through their intelligence and their ingenuity. And all of them were with black women. But for whatever reason, it wasn't until this bald head, yellow teeth white man said that, gave them a compliment that wasn't even verified, all of a sudden, oh my God. This is the greatest compliment I've heard in my life. Oh my, I love you. Oh my God. Bro, that's why I say we're a sick people. We're a sick people. We are a sick race of people, bro. And like I said, brothers, you need to make sure whatever woman you get with, especially if you're like myself, you don't date outside your race, you got to make sure it's not enough if the woman is just a black woman. It's not enough. I know Dr. Umar Johnson, he's going to tell us just get with any old black woman off the street. It don't matter. Get with a black queen. But where I disagree with Dr. Umar Johnson is this. A queen is not simply a queen due to her phenotype and her, her epidermis, her skin color. No, a queen is a queen because of her mentality. A queen is dignified. A queen is stoic. A queen is resolute. A queen is a visionary. A queen is has high moral integrity. A queen is is a, a rider for her nation. That's, that's a queen, bro. A queen does not get weak in the knees for a foreigner or an adversary. <laughs> a queen is not easily swayed or easily moved, especially for a bald head white man who looks like he doesn't even brush his teeth. If you needed any proof or reassurance that black women are with billionaires, you could have looked at the list of black male billionaires and their wives and their families, right? You could have looked at Aligo Dangote, the man who's worth over $10 billion out of Nigeria, Mike Adenuga, who's involved in telecommunications and oil, David Stewart, who's in technology, Patrice Montepe, who's in mining, Strive Masayiwa, who's involved in technology, Tope Awatona, who's involved in technology and his father was a microbiologist. If you needed any proof of reassurance to flex that black women are with billionaires, you could have simply looked at the list of black male billionaires and their wives and their families. Notice, I didn't even mention Jay-Z or LeBron James because I don't even count the athletes and the entertainers as, you know, I don't really count them because they didn't earn their money through their intelligence and their, you know, their ingenuity. But you could add them to the list as well. But the real reason why this is going viral, getting almost 50,000 likes and millions of views and all these videos on TikTok is because a white man said it. A white man with yellow teeth and a bald head said it. 
That, that's why. Because a lot of y'all got an inferiority complex. And you wonder why y'all can't find the intelligent black men. The black men with honor, intelligence, and dignity, and, and resourcefulness, and ingenuity. Y'all can't find them because you're not equally yoked. You're not equally yoked. You have to get with your counterpart. Your counterpart is the tap dancing, chasing after the white woman, sell out black man. That's your reflection. That is who you match up with. You do not match up with the black man who loves his people. The black man that wants to ride for his people and build for his people. Because look how weak in the knees you get for the white folks. Soon as the white man come around, oh my God, I love you. Oh my God. He said he, said he loves me. The white man said he loves me. Oh my God. Man, ain't no real black man sitting around. Man, what? Ain't no real black man about to get married to that and start a family with that. Are you kidding me? God forbid you pass away from a heart attack or a car accident and your kids have to be raised by that. Oh my God, bro. What? What life lessons? What personality traits is she going to pass down to your offspring, to your legacy? Your kids are going to grow up to have the same mentality, to bow down towards white folks, to get the validation and self-esteem through white validation. That's what your kids are going to grow up to be. They're going to have very low self-esteem. They're not going to be strong-minded, intelligent, ready to conquer the world. They're going to be defeated and broken down before they even step into the world. Because look at who is raising them. We always talk about, they always say, oh, the mother passes down the culture to the children. Well, what culture are you going to pass down when you get weak in the knees and get butterflies in your stomach for a bald head white man with yellow teeth? And I know, I know what you're going to say. Oh, but he's a billionaire. But he's a billionaire. But listen, he only got individually, I only think he's worth like $3 billion by himself, right? But there's, there's multiple black men that got more money than him. So it's not about having billions. Because if it was really about billions, you would have looked at Aliko Dangote, who got over 10 billion by himself. You would have looked at Mike Adenuga, who almost got 10 billion also. You would have looked at David Stewart, who got 4 billion. And all of them are married to black women. But it wasn't really about the billions. It was about he was white. Because when you look in these comment sections, the emphasis is not placed on the money and the billions. No, the, the emphasis is placed on the fact that a white man said it. Because I guarantee, if Aliko Dangote said it, if Strive Masayiwa said it, if Mike Adenuga said it, if Tope Awatona said it, if David Stewart said it, that shit would have got no traction. But due to the fact that it was the white man, yeah, the white man, the white man, the white man, that's why y'all going crazy. That's why y'all, oh my God, dude, the greatest compliment I've ever heard in my life. Oh my God, I love you. Oh my God. Because if you go into the comment section, you saw you saw that one lady. Hey, if there's any Mexicans and Asians and white people, I'm, I'm ready. I'm here. A lot of y'all, man, y'all just love white people, man. Y'all love white folks. Y'all love white folks, man. Y'all love white folks. That's why it's so hard for me to find black men with my similar mentality. Because they were probably raised by women like this. See, me, myself, I was raised by a real black woman who had pride in her culture, her identity, her ancestry. I was raised by a real grandmother who, who gave me the knowledge of my history, my ancestry. I was not raised by no tap dancing women, no bowing down to the white man type women. I was not raised by that. But it's so hard to find like-minded black men who are focused on the accumulation and maintenance of power because they were probably raised by women like this who gave them similar personality traits. That's why we have so many sellouts. If they say that the, the mother passes down the culture and traditions, well, guess what? If the woman has this mentality, what culture is she passing down? What mentality and personality traits is she passing down to the next generation? No wonder we got so many sellouts walking around. That's why I'm telling y'all boys, it's not a game. The woman that you choose to be the mother of your children, it's not a game. You have to make sure that is the proper candidate, bro. You can't choose a random person off the street. And nah, no brother, you have to be calculated and precise in your decision making. And also, what really turned my eyes, what really opened my eyes to this, this mentality of venerating and pedestalizing the actions and, and thoughts and speech of the white man was when Meghan Markle got married into the British royal family. And I seen so many women, especially black women, really glorify this uh, marriage like it meant something like, wow, a black woman is with a with the European prince. And I was like, do you know how many do you know how many African royal families we have on the, on the African continent? Like, you think that's the only black woman in a royal family? What about the Zulu royal family or the Ashanti royal family or the Buganda royal family? I could go on and on. Many of our traditional royal families are still active. Those bloodlines are still here. But y'all didn't give a fuck about that. Y'all wanted to get into the, the British royal family, the European royal family. Oh, my God. No, no, she's with a white man, a European prince. Who gives a fuck about that? 
Who gives a fuck? The way I seen y'all geeking over that years ago, that that went that was crazy to me, man. That was crazy to me. Because when the queen of the Zulus died a couple years ago, nobody gave a fuck. But everybody, you know, gazzing up. Oh man, Meghan Markle, oh, Megan. Who gives a fuck about this mixed race, multiracial, biracial Meghan Markle? We got real African queens still walking around. Y'all don't give a fuck about that because it's all about bowing down to the white man, bro. Y'all got y'all sick. This inferiority complex is sick. It's sick. It goes back to what I say. We could have a long line of black billionaires with black wives. It doesn't even matter. But when the white man comes around and says something, oh my God, we got to throw a fucking party. We got to throw a black party in a parade. Shit is sick, man. Shit is sick. But anyways, let's take a look at some of these reactions on social media. This lady said, black women, if a white billionaire is interested, abandon ship. Fuck what these black men be talking about. Let them bag the white women. They don't do shit, but make them baby mamas. Now, like I said, notice the emphasis placed on the fact that it was a white billionaire, not just a billionaire in general. You would think that if it's about the money and the resources, they would just say it's a billionaire, but they got to specify black women. If a white billionaire is interested, abandon ship. If the white man wants you, abandon your nation and your race and your ancestors. <laughs> Listen, bro, y'all boys can deal with these women that be dating outside their race if y'all want to. As soon as they tell me they be dating outside their race, garbage. Anyway, let's continue. This person said... The tweet did not just say billionaire, she specified he was white, as if it added extra validity. I really need black women to stop basing their self-esteem on how white people see them. Black men too. You cannot be confused by white supremacy when you make yourself their stool. Mmm, that's facts. That's facts. And I remember sometime last week I dropped a video about the president of Ivory Coast, and I had mentioned how the president of Ivory Coast is one of the biggest sellouts on the African continent. And I made a video talking about the fact that the United States might be interested in establishing a military base in Ivory Coast. And I said that the United States doesn't even have to even give him any money or give him any benefits. They could just praise him in the Western media and he'll sell the whole country away. All they have to do is flatter him and praise him in the media and they'll he'll sell the whole country away to the Americans and the Europeans. That's what I said about President Alison Watara of Ivory Coast. And you wonder how we have these sellout leaders who will sell their whole country away because a white country, a white man, a white diplomat flattered him and, and praised him in the media. It's that same mentality. Oh, the white man. Look what the white man said to me. Oh, white man. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. White Man. Man, listen, man. Who you think raising these type of black men? Who you think raised these type of black men? These type of women, bro. Let's continue. This lady said, it's so fucking weird. Everyone is happy that billionaires prefer black women. When I just find it weird, it's giving that they think we are more submissive. And also, if they prefer us that much, why are they mostly married to white women anyways? Like, wake up. <laughs> hey, listen. In fact, any black woman with any ounce of dignity would be insulted that a white man said that you are somebody that can protect their interests. So they believe that black women can protect white interests? Are they saying that our women are our collaborators? Any woman of intelligence would be insulted by that statement. Are you mean to tell me that I can protect your interests? European interests? Are you calling me a, a collaborator, a traitor to my people? But no, these these goddamn sellouts, they started monkey dancing. Oh, the white man, oh my God, this is the, oh my God. Let's, let's bask in the glory of the white man. Man, that, that was pathetic, bro. That was, that was really pathetic, man. That was really pathetic, bro. That's really pathetic. That, that's really sad. But anyway, let's continue. This person said, I said this before, some black people will believe everything a white person tells them as long as it boosts their self-esteem and ego. I cannot stand how some of y'all are so easily manipulated by white man's words, but if it was a black billionaire, you would question it and even say that he's lying. Exactly, bro, exactly. Keep in mind, there's multiple black men with business empires that are more powerful than his, that built it from the ground up. You see his daddy, you know, his daddy gave him a head start, but we have other black men that really built it from, got, it, got this shit out the mud for real in a more admirable fashion. But they don't give a fuck about those black men and their black wives and their black children. No, they care about this white man and his family. That's what they look up to. That's what they wanna idolize and venerate. It's, it's sick, bro, it's sick. Anyway, let's continue. This person said, when will my people be free from these shackles, Lord? <laughs> bro, that's what I be telling myself, man. That's what I be telling myself, bro, you know? Anyway, let's continue. This lady said, y'all just leading these young women astray. These men want to fuck us behind their white wives back because they hypersexualized black women. You saw Eve and then started salivating. This is how I know y'all never been around wealthy white people before. They are definitely marrying white. 
And that goes for all men from elite societies, elite groups, men from the ruling class. They're going to prioritize their culture, number one. That's why even the black billionaires, they're with their black wives most of the time with a black woman from their same exact culture and ethnic group, matter of fact. So at these levels of power, in these circles of power, they're not marrying pedestrians off the street from the working class. No, they're marrying women from also other elite families who are from their culture, number one, priority number one. Anything outside of that is an outlier. So, you know, we're not even being realistic. Your, your, your biggest chance of getting with a billionaire is a black billionaire. I mean, that's just a fact of the matter. Anyway, let's continue, man. This lady said, I read a comment the other day that said, white men have had unfiltered access to black women for more than 400 plus years in every facet of their life without repercussions. I think about that when topics like this come up. Interesting. I think about that too. Anyway, let's continue. This brother said, that's what happens when you're bred to have an inferiority complex. And this phenomenon is pervasive everywhere. Hence why I believe you got to find your own tribe and grow with them. Many black folks are a lost cause, but there are many with value that are out there as well. I agree. And this brother is actually one of my, you know, day one subscribers on YouTube. I recognize his name. Shout out to you, bro. Anyway, let's continue. This person said 44,000 likes for a lie. <laughs> Yo, like I said, this statement is not even verified. I haven't seen a video. I just seen a quote from a gossip blog from years ago. And this shit just went viral spontaneously. I don't even know how it happened. Anyway, let's continue. This person said, either way it goes, the white person is the savior from religion, politics, economics, and even happiness. The CIA went crazy. <laughs> Yo, know, like I said, man, we're sick people. We're, we're very sick people. Anyway, let's continue. This lady said, please stop. If they meant that, then we'd see more of this promoted publicly by the 1%. Wealthy whites of secret societies still believe in eugenics and they prohibit race mixing. TikTok is TikTok. Black women do not need white validation. They never wanted to give it to us to begin with. So like I said, brothers, like I said, if you're a brother like myself, you don't date outside your race. Like I said, there are intelligent black women out here. You know, you got to, you know, you got to search high and low, but they out there, bro. They got value. They got pride in their ancestry and their origins and their, their history and their culture. They're out there, bro. They're not going to bow down and get butterflies in their stomach for the European. They out there, though. They out there. I mean, they get locked down very quickly, though. You know, they get married very quickly. You know, they're not going to be on the market for too long. As soon as an intelligent black man comes around, he locking that down. Anyway, let's continue. This lady said, it's so funny to me how black people pretend to hate white people, but they get so giddy when a single white person says something positive about them. Huh. Like I said, man, a lot of that should be performative. A lot of that should just be for, for the image. That shit don't be real. I even I, look, I even had a whole series on a so-called the pro-black divester. Yeah, the pro-black divester talking all that pro-black, pro-black, pro-black. Soon as the European come around, man, bow down, get on her knees, man. Anyway, let's continue. It reminds me of a tweet I seen a couple weeks back in these conservative circles, right? Uh, this this uh, this individual said this at the top. Blacks do not care about preserving the purity of the black race. This applies to other non-whites, too. Their racism and nationalism is just calculated selfishness. And the person replies to them and they said this, frankly, the only non-white race that does care about their race is the Jews. And uh, look, you can't even really can't even really debunk that. Like I said, man, a lot of folks are very performative. They don't really they, they talk that shit. You know, you're going to hear these women talk about, oh, the black man, he prefers the white woman and the mixed woman. Well, if you are going to say that the black man prefers the light skinned mixed woman, then why would you reproduce the light skinned mixed woman by getting with the white man? W what do you think you're going to produce? What daughter do you think you're going to have once you get with the so-called white man? You think you're going to have a dark skinned black African? No, no. She gonna come out looking like Zendaya. She will come out looking like uh, Lotto, the rapper. She gonna come out looking like all these so-called racially ambiguous women that you say black men chase after. You're going to reproduce that and add that to the population. So a lot of this shit is performative, bro. Shit, it just be games. Anyway, let's continue. This person said, black people are incapable of being racist to whites. However, not because of the mainstream reason. You cannot be racist to a group of people if you lust after them, you fight to be integrated and accepted by them, and you consider it to be a win if you gain access to them through dating. Mic drop. Hmm. Mic drop. Let's continue. This brother said, black men, stop paying attention to these low self-esteem, white worshiping black women that live online and find black women with sense. I agree. I agree. And in fact, I'm going to drop a pay-per-view, maybe might even drop it tonight. I'm going to, it's going to be entitled how to avoid divestors and self-haters. I'm going to give you uh, the manual. In fact, I had a, a long conversation, 30, 40 minute conversation with a young lady and she was very candid and open about the type of conversation she has with her friends who are, you know, 
infected with this mentality and she gave me a lot of inside information and i'm gonna put that conversation i'm you know listen we're gonna i'm gonna share with you what i learned during that conversation man so uh stay tuned for that pay-per-view stay tuned for that pay-per-view all right now i'm going to jump into this uh this one video and uh i'm gonna come back on my commentary let's go Y'all don't actually want black wives. You barely want black girlfriends. You just want black baby mamas. You want black situations. I really can't take it, and I don't like playing the blame game, but the way black women act with black men versus white men is hilarious. Let's talk about it, right? Though. So when y'all get on here doing the I'm a black wife thing and I'm dating a white man thing, nobody really cares, but when you make it your personality and you're shitting on other people, your own race at that, it's a problem. You women solely date white men to use them as trophy husbands. That's it. Just to say you're doing it. You make it your personality. But let a black man get on TikTok or Instagram, whatever this trend is on. Let a black man do that with his white wife. It's going to be an uproar. You want to know what's funny about this trend too? These black women will sit here and look at a black nerdy man that doesn't fit their standard and call him a nerd and corny. But will go date a nerdy, corny white man and change him. And then, then post them and flex them like, oh yeah, I made him, I made him get some swag and some drip, and brag about it. It's funny though, <laughs> but yet they shit on a black man. It, it's funny, man. It's funny. All right, we back now. Shout out to that brother. Shout out to that brother. You know, to me, it's just funny, right? It's just funny how, like I said, somebody going bald, you know, looking like a damn English teacher, yellow teeth. You know, you got a billion dollars, bro. You should have pearly whites. There's no reason why. There's no reason you should be worth multiple billions. You know, your father is a major political donor, political backer and influencer. And, you know, your teeth looking like, you know what I'm saying? Last time you brushed your teeth was during like 9-11 or something like that, bro. You ain't brushed his teeth in like 20 years. Like, God damn, bro. You know what I mean? But hey, like I said, hey, you know, they're going crazy over you, bro. So it is what it is. But anyways, it's funny how these fake stories and these fake quotes go viral. But you have black men that hop on social media and say things like this. And for whatever reason, it never gains traction. Run the footage. I'll be right back. If you are not a black woman, then this is not for you. But to my black women, I want you to know that you are appreciated more than you know. That not every black man despises you. That you are loved by black men. And I happen to be one of those men. You are not ghetto. Your hair isn't nappy. You are not overly aggressive. You are not too much to handle. If anything, you're the complete opposite. You're beautiful. You're intelligent. You are the creators and innovators of this world. Without you, shit don't move. And without you, we're nothing. I've learned so much from black women. And when I see a black woman, I smile because you remind me of my mother, my grandmother, my sister and other relatives. With you, you have taught me how to love. With you, you have given me so much confidence to believe in myself, to have so much sauce and so much swag in myself. And I just want to let you know that you are appreciated no matter how light you are, how dark you are. You're always black and you're beautiful. All right. We back. Like I said, that video right there will never get the 40,000, 50,000 likes like that fake quote by Ben Horowitz. You know, now keep in mind, Ben Horowitz is the son of a right wing conservative, racist, bigot, white supremacist. But his opinion holds more value than the black man's opinion. Unfortunately, that's the society we live in. It is what it is. But anyway, man, I'm not going to be here too long. Like I said, I might put out a pay-per-view sometime later tonight entitled How to Avoid These Type of Women, How to Avoid Divestors, Swirlers, Self-Haters, How Intelligent Black Men Can Avoid These Women, What to Look Out For, This Type of Mentality, Personality Traits, Talking Points to Look Out For, Red Flags to Look Out For. You know, if you're a black man that wants a black woman, you have to look out for these things to make sure you're not picking up some garbage off the street and making sure you're picking up a real queen, as Dr. Umar would say. You know, so anyways... Uh, it's your boy Neville Card, that's Celine, back in the building, yes indeed, cash app up on the screen, and I'm gone, peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion, I left on a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine, we used to be pyramids, now we be rapping, look how the mighty have fallen, used to be running, now we be walking, when you be cooning, that's when they applauded, selling your soul, your sons and your daughter, gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix, really my heart it be breaking, that's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business, pass it down in generation, talking about money and power and building a nation, that's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus, falsifying information. Know they got malice and
pages. Step in the room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young Monte Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage, I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.